So after upgrading to Mac OS 10.15.1 and that is the OS that I uh, Mac OS that I have Catalina 10.15.1 I run into an issue that my Audacity application will not work uh, with this new operating system update. So I am back on a journey to find a workaround around it because I do use Audacity quite a bit and wanted to make sure that uh, this upgrade doesn't stop me from using Audacity and uh, until Audacity comes up with a workaround uh, by themselves um, I was basically left in the dark and uh, I really needed to use the Audacity program because I, I've been so used to it. So I came on to Audacity website and uh, saw this workaround. I tried it out but it didn't work for me quite right. And so I went further and try this workaround to it still didn't work for me uh, so what I decided to do was uninstall so this is what I uh, decided to do I didn't actually uninstall I just reinstalled the audacity program for the Mac OS exact same one that the version that I had on I reinstalled it I tried uh, dropping my mp3 file that I was working on um, into Audacity. Uh, it wouldn't do that. So there was an error message which led me to the website where I can reinstall the FFmpeg library. So I downloaded that application and installed it. And then after that I used the import function uh, to import a file and work on it. If that is all you want to do, if you have a file already that you want to do uh, some audio engineering on it and edit it and clean it up, uh, you can do that uh, right from there and uh, because you have the file and the audio is could be heard. However, if you are trying to record a new file and uh, whilst I talk you through it, let me show you exactly what I mean. If you're trying to record a new file, like after installing, and let's say you go here and you want to record, you will see that this file that I'm recording, you know, I'm speaking, recording, and it should load into it, but I have a flat line file which didn't pick up any sound at all and uh, so I came over here checking my the microphones that I'm using I have the built-in microphone and also my Scarlett 2i2 USB microphone that is what I'm using now but it wasn't working so the workaround around this is uh, basically you need to close out of this file you need to close out of audacity quit the program and then go into applications utilities terminal and type in this code and then hit enter and that is going to launch audacity from the terminal window okay so once it does this now you'll be able to let's see let's try and record and see testing one two one two testing and as you can see we picked up some sound wave over here testing, testing. Okay, so now that works and uh, 
you could hear it loud and clear. So, and the other one is uh, trying to edit a file. So I have a file that I'm working on. So let's try that one and see. And it will take a minute uh, for it to load, actually a couple of seconds. All right, and as you can see, that file is. All right, so that file is working pretty good, and uh, we can do the audio engineering and edit and polish and all the nitty gritty stuff. If you really, um, this is my workaround that I'm using right now. I've seen a few others that are out there. They are not as detailed as this one. Some of them is working on just um, getting it to record. Um, I haven't seen one that goes through, you know, downloading, re uh, reinstalling Audacity and then working through the whole thing. So uh, whichever one works for you, uh, that is fine. But if you do like this video and um, if you do like this video, give it give it a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe to the channel and I'll bring you more uh, detailed videos as we proceed. Thank you. Have a good one.